hi, I didn't really know when to stop this introduction because as you can hear the music stays pretty um, intense the whole time way through this song, so uh, yeah. And also the action just doesn't stop, like I've, I've found it hard to choose when to stop playing like an intro because as you can see, I just constant load of action going on really. It's good for that, this game. But anyway, I'm going to talk to you guys about lots of different things today, so um, I'm just going to get on with it. I do apologise, by the way, that I haven't been able to upload a video for a good while again. I'm so bad at this thing, I should just stop doing YouTube now, really. But um, yeah, I've, I've just started a new job, so I've been working hard, and when I've not been working, I've either been asleep, if I'm honest, or or just playing Destiny, so yeah, that is basically my excuse. It's really not a good one, but I, I will try and keep up with it now. But anyway, I have many things I want to talk about, and this video is not too long, so I'm going to just get straight into it. So I don't know if it's just me here, but when I played Iron Banner, I thought it was a little bit of a letdown. Now, I'll tell you why. It's not because... Iron Banner is just really annoying with the whole armor and weapons meaning stuff to you because to me that was pretty cool, that was the whole point of it to me and that was really fun and good and I love that. But the problem was the bounties were just ridiculous, like I really wanted the level 3, rank 3 shader and I wasn't too bothered about the machine gun because I don't like machine guns anyway, but I really wanted that shader and just to get to rank 3 was ridiculously long, like some of the um bounties were to do like 25 machine gun sprees and that means you have to get like three kills or more each time you use a machine gun 25 times to end up completing that bounty and if you've played he if you use heavy ammo you know that it only drops like once or twice in a match depending on how long it is so and you only get two sets of that so if you don't pick them both up then it's going to take you a long ass time several matches to even get halfway through doing this sort of bounty and then the other ones were like headshots and um, with sniper rifles and and um, with pulse rifles and stuff like that and oh, i don't know and some of the missions were your you had to have your shader emblem and all the other gear equipped for it to count and some of, you can't even access half the stuff until you're a higher rank so a lot of the things were just impossible to do or you couldn't physically do them which I don't know, I just thought was a bit of a letdown really <laughs> That does link in quite nicely to what I do want to talk about next which is the update for Destiny because they changed um, the weapons and the amount of, they nerfed some of them like the amount of damage that some do for, for me it affected my auto rifle, which is my weapon of choice, and uh, it d decreased the damage by 2%. And to be honest, when I first heard about this update, I was like, for fuck's sake, this is really not fair, because auto rifles are the only ones I really particularly use in PvP. And I thought it was going to really affect it, but when I got around to playing it, it just didn't feel any different. I I'm actually really glad. Like, when you read about it and read that it's 2%, that sounds like nothing. But when you hear that decreasing the damage of a weapon, it sounds like a big deal. So, I don't know, I'm kind of feeling a little bit on sitting either side of if it's a good or a bad thing. I mean, I understand why they did it, because um, I'll link you to an article which I read which stated about the fact that they basically said that auto rifles are designed to appeal to players who like to throw stuff up walls and miss and stuff like that with some of their bullets, and therefore the targeting isn't intended to be too accurate. And also they said that um, it's about like sustained damage at close to medium range but to lose effectiveness at like longer ranges, which you know, it's fair enough, that's what an auto rifle should do, they shouldn't be amazing at close range and long range, that's what the, you know, the um, scout rifles are for, exactly to deliver that to you, or the pulse rifles, you know, they, the advantages those weapons have are meant to be what auto rifles don't have, and so I kind of, I respect the fact that they kind of did that. It makes it a little bit more even in PvP. Another thing I really briefly want to mention before this video ends is if you've not really played Vault of Glass, well, you're going to be lucky because you're not going to have to deal with all the bugs that they've had. But there's an update that's coming soon which is going to fix all those bugs. But the one thing that's pissing everybody off is about the fact that Athon and his selection of like targeting the people that go into the uh, other world is going to be now done from random instead of the people that are furthest from the map. And oh my god, that is the most ridiculous thing ever. If anyone agrees with me, please comment. I want to talk about this because it's pissed me off. I mean, I've done it once and I don't want to do it ever again now. Right. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you didn't, guys, then I do apologize. And if you did, well, I'll speak to you guys soon. But for now, goodbye. <laughs>